Nebula, we're working on block four. So it will look like this. Let's see if we can get far enough back for you guys. Okay. There's this pink and red version and then a blue version. I don't have the blue one together because I want to show you how I'm going to fussy cut out part of the design for one of the hexagons. Okay. So I did share with you Julie's video. It's very good. Make sure if you have not already started cutting, you may want to hop over and watch her video or uh, listen to me because what she tells you is that she, uh, in the pattern, messed up fabric cutting. So if you're reading her cutting directions versus just looking at the cover, which I was fortunate that I did, I followed the cover and then listened to her video <laughs> for her to tell me that she told the cutting instructions wrong. Um, so it's working out for me just fine. And it's not a big deal. If you've already cut it and put it together and then figured out that two of the fabrics are swapped, you really aren't going to know in the end. So please don't sweat it. Or if you are super OCD like I can be sometimes, uh, we do have all the fabrics. You can come by more, do it again if you want uh, so that it matches this cover, which is what matches the quilt. So uh, otherwise, you know, she shows you her basic cutting and it's just gonna be a crazy Friday for me. <sighs> My dogs are gonna bug me all day long. This is what I get for working from home. Uh, so she shows you strips for making the triangles, but she shows you this cutting across the, she was calling it the length instead of the, I don't know. I didn't quite understand how to me what she was saying was backwards. I for like these hexes, I cut four and a half inch strips and then I cut the little side angles. I don't know why she's having you do each one individually. I'm lazy. I like strips and then I like cutting them out and then I'm good and I'm done. So you can either do it how she shows it or cut a strip and then just cut your hexes out. Either way works just fine. It just, it seemed a little weird to me. My focus though today for you guys is fussy cutting. So if you've never fussy cut, what fussy cutting is, is you're making sure that you feature a specific design in your block square or whatever you're working with. Uh, very common in English paper piecing and actually it's common in a lot of projects lately. People like kind of focusing on certain prints in their blocks. So it's fun. So for this one, I'm going to move the camera and show you how I'm doing the hexes for the blue version because we have this fun print, okay, with the hands. So what I'm making sure I do, and hopefully, let's see if you can see, can't really see my markings super well, but I've taken my friction pen, this heat resistant, not resistant, a heat erase, and marked out my hexi, okay? So that way I know I'm gonna get at least these three hands, which is kind of fun where uh, Julie's look like she just kind of cut them out and whatever landed, landed. I'm trying to make sure that each one of mine has some sort of feature. So this has the hands with the scissors, the hands with the needle. This one's gonna have the hand with a heart, the scissors, another hand with a heart, okay? So there's four total. You can get four fussy cut out of here uh, and still be fine. So I'll show you what I did. So let's see, what's nice is I can see the entire four and a half. Hopefully you can see it. I'll we'll scoot you back a little. Okay, so I can see what's inside because it's nice and clear. Now keep in mind these dashed lines are your seam allowance. So I am going to like shift my ruler so that this hand is inside the hexi from the stitch lines or these dash lines okay because that's my seam allowance that's where the block is going to come together with the other pieces okay so i can get all three of these i can turn and twist any way i want you can go all kinds of wonky because we're not cutting strips in this fabric so i've made sure i have three designs in this hexagon inside these dash lines so i know uh, they're not going to get sucked up by my seams so I'm going to take this friction and just mark two sides. Okay, just starting about the four and a half and ending at the four and a half on the other side. Okay, so then it's nice with this ruler, except for I need a little more space. 
is I'm lining up two corners oops, of this hexi. Yeah, two corners. So I'm lining up my drawn lines with two corners of my hexi, leaving me two more corners to draw. So I'll try to do this without getting my hand in your way. So I'm going to draw this corner. Yep, just making sure all of a sudden, you know, even I second guess myself from this corner. All right. I don't know why I would, but it's been a morning already and it's only 10. Okay, so then I've turned, I now have all four sides that I've drawn matched up on the inside of this hexamore, leaving me this outer corner that I can draw. Okay. And then I'll just cut these out, probably with scissors or even just a rotary cutter. But I'm just making sure I have three designs inside. It all looks good. I have my seam allowance. I can put my ruler back on top and go, yep, it's all still inside where I want it to be. And I can cut this bad boy out. So your fabric in the end, it'll look like Swiss cheese. Um, but that's kind of what happens with fussy cutting. So see, I can either just take my rotary cutter... I go slow and steady. You can tell I've done this quite a bit. I'm going to chop that piece off. And that way I can just kind of keep turning. Because the rest of this fabric really is not usable. So it'll go in a scrap bin. We'll go to the shop and somebody else will think it's just amazing. Because they can fussy cut some hands out for their project. So then I'm just going to keep cutting. Okay. And then I'll have a hexagon. Good morning, Miss Carol. All right, so there's my fussy cut hexagon. So I'm gonna cut the other three out and then be ready to put this block together. So assembly wise, it's pretty easy. You will then follow the instructions. I mean, that's what I love about Julie. Her stuff is super simple. Just keep in mind when you're adding triangles, they're on opposing corners. I accidentally, when I put one on, like started to shift, had to undo it and redo it. So these triangles are going to go that way. So it makes it bigger. So it turns the hexi into a big triangle. And then you have uh, the two different colorways. You start to put them together per the instructions um, and then lay out until you get a nice big diamond, right? So that's the goal. Diamonds in different colors. So just keep in mind uh, the color Fabric tells what it tells you in here does not match how it looks on the cover and you can cut everything out every, all the cuttings correct it's just layout so if anything just look at the picture that's what I did and that way I was safe and didn't even know it otherwise go watch Julie's video she talks about everything and uh, lets you know what to correct prior to cutting if you're worried about it okay guys otherwise get those diamonds done I mean they're easy peasy you can do them in a couple hours be done and ready to move on to another project until next month. So hopefully this helped you out and maybe you can have some fun little designs uh, in your blocks and maybe even in your future blocks. You can use that same technique down the road to kind of feature other fabrics that are going to come because uh, Tula always has fun little creatures and things uh, in her fabric. So it makes it a lot of fun to fussy cut. Otherwise, have a happy Friday and keep on stitching. <laughs>